Hello everyone, Turtle Thomas Man here, and today I'm starting a hardcore series, as you can probably tell from those hearts down there below my skin. So, if you don't know what hardcore mode is, it means you only have one life in Minecraft. You die, you lose everything, you can't get back into the world and do stuff. So, um, I have a bunch of data packs turned on, so that I was going to try to do this series with shaders, but it wasn't working. So in today's video, we're going to be hopefully starting a mine, and also building an epic starter house. And I have Flip's texture pack turned on as always, so that means we have connected textures. Just everything is much better looking in Minecraft with his texture pack on. So that means, you know, we can come up with some pretty cool things that we could do. You know, I'm gonna do the basics, you know. Grab a crafting table. So as you know in Minecraft, we went over this on the um, first episode. You know that the standard thing to do is get some wood. But I've found that it's also very important for you get to get stone as well. And also, since this is hardcore... Ooh, that was lava. Oh, That would have been bad. So, um, as you know, you know, since we need sheep to make a bed, and there's a sheep! But first I'm gonna get the rose bushes. <laughs> Ironically more important than surviving. I'm actually going to use the pickaxe, as it will deal a little bit more damage, won't it? Okay, there's one piece of wool and a little food. That's going to be important. We don't want to starve to death. Right now I'm just trying to look for a cave or something. We need a cave so we can get some cobble easily. Oh, I thought that was going to be one. So our first project for this episode I guess it, we won't be setting up a mine. I think we're mainly focusing on um, getting a starter house built along with getting some cobble because that's also important. Goodness, I sh really shouldn't have started uh, using my wooden pickaxe, you know. I really need to find some stone. Literally, I'll take anything. And why does this gravel look so weird? Alright, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring that one out. Okay, I see some stone right here. And we're just gonna get that. At this point. And we no longer need this. We can make ourselves a stone pickaxe. Getting an upgrade. That is a great achievement to unlock. Well, we need to find some sheep now. Wood is important, but sheep are honestly, I think sheep are more important at this moment. I really do, because I don't want to have to live, you know, try to survive the night time. <laughs> Not in hardcore mode. I really hope this isn't going to be the first and the last episode. I really do, because I genuinely want to, you know, learn how to survive in hardcore. I mean, I don't... I'm not a survivor. Let's get this pig. We have... I should have gotten more stone to make a furnace. That was a bad idea on my part. Not to. But I just figured, you know, I'll run into some more stone eventually. Ooh, I think I see a desert. No, I don't see a desert, I don't think. Well, anyway... The data packs I have on, I'm pretty sure, are Better Wandering Traders, um, Mob Drops, Mob Head Drops. Thank you, wolves, for leading me to these sheep. Okay. That is three wool. We're going to make ourselves the most important item of Hardcore Minecraft. Well, I guess it isn't really the most important item of Hardcore Minecraft. But it's very important. It's a bet. All right, so we really need to, um, you know, get some more stone in. Perfect! 
Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. Oh, I hear spiders. That isn't beautiful. But having this stone available to us? Oh, okay, I'm not going down there. Well, anyway, having this stone available to us is going to be very important. And we'll just get that much. We can start a mine later. I hear spider noises, so I'm going to get out of here. But before I get all the way out of here, we got to make a furnace. It's just got to happen, folks. Okay. We just need to wait here, get some food. I'm going to try not to go anywhere. Yeah, that's a dark cave. We'll explore it maybe in another episode. But right now, I just got to get some stuff to make a starter house. As soon as I, this food cooks, of course. All right, we need, we'll just go ahead and eat some of that. I've already lost a half a heart. That isn't good. <laughs> I'm going to need more food than just this. Oh, that dog scared me. I'm used to playing mo modded Minecraft, and you know, there's these things called, um, you know, warthogs, and they attack you, and they hurt. So anytime I hear something, I'm gonna be very jumpy. Even if I know it isn't a, a zombie or a spider or a skeleton, what am I doing this for? I could go make a, a stone axe, you know? Okay, but first we need some sticks. Oops. Oh dear, I'm losing it, you guys. I am hearing scary spider noises though, and that's, that's a little bit worrying, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna be extra careful. I'm actually going to take this furnace with me, just in case. You never know when you might need a furnace. Alright, so... We need to get to chopping down some wood. Okay guys, I've been chopping down trees and it's almost night, as you can see from the sun setting. Oh. Oh no. I'm scared to be right here. I'm gonna have to go <laughs> away from the spider noises before I can get some sweet dreams, as the achievement says. So, let me know in the comments below if you guys are surprised that I started a hardcore series. Because believe me, I'm just as surprised as you are. Ooh, a swamp. That's a turnaround sign for me. I want to find a nice place to build a starter base, something that I can come back to, but a swamp. Something that I can, you know, enjoy. But a swamp, that is not going to be it. I made a house in a swamp, I made a base in a swamp. Yeah, I, I played that world for like two weeks and then I grew tired of it because of the swamp. So, I'm not going to do that. Let's see, this looks like a cool place to settle. It's got some bees and some animals. Oh goodness, that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. That Ooh, there's so many pigs here. Why are there so many pigs? Someone tell me. Well, also, let me know in the comments down below. Would you, um, tell me... Just be honest with me. I want the honest truth. Tell me if you think I'm going to be able to beat the Ender Dragon. Okay, there's some sand here. Ooh, some sugar cane. That's going to be important. I think we ran across a mini desert with some, a, like a wooded biome nearby. So, hear me out now, you guys, but I like this. I mean, a desert? I've never really done anything in a desert before. And like there's some cool there's some cool stuff here and a village well that's a sign I think we are going to live right here in the desert maybe build a house right there in that valley or mini valley 
whatever you want to call it. Ooh, some coal! Alright, this is a sign, you guys. I think I know where we're gonna set up shop. Okay, this is just... The more that I explore this little area, the more I know this is where I belong. Before I do anything else, I need to go explore that. But I hear some skeletons, so... No way, Jose, not today. There's tons of caves around here. That makes me a little worried, but this looks to be a big old village. Like, a big old village. Now, I'm going to make sure I don't do anything to harm the Iron Golem. Or the villagers, okay? If I do that, this series is basically over, okay? It is literally going to be over because if I hurt the iron golem like you saw right there, or kill any of the villagers, it is not going to end well for us, my friends. It is not. Boy, this is a big village. And a swamp biome? The, like I said, the more I explore this area, the more I am convinced that this is where we're supposed to settle. Okay, some apples, that could save us. Some potatoes, yeah, that, that, I mean, ooh, I love this. I love what I see here. Hay bales. I love these for decoration, especially in, my, in this texture pack that I'm using. I almost called it my own texture pack. Sorry, Fwip. I know you're not watching this because you have other things that you should do, but, um, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, some armor. Basically, any armor that I can get at this point is going to be pretty valuable. I'm not going to take that stone cutter like I normally do. Alright, let's see, anything in here? No, nothing in there. I see a church, and I see a little wheat here. Okay, nothing, there isn't any treasure in the church, so. But, let's return to our desert. And I'm quite happy with all the stuff in that village, and there are some pretty important villagers that we'll have to transport sometime. But I don't want to do that right now because this is the first episode and, you know, I can't do everything in the first episode. If I could, it would be, you know, one episode. No, no more series. Although, by the way things are looking, I don't think this is going to be, you know, just a one episode series like I thought it would be. Okay, so I'm seeing a few options for a starter house. Okay? Just a few options. I'm going to keep exploring the, the, the desert, not jungle, a little bit more to see what I can find. And I think I just found it. That right there. That might just be the perfect thing. Okay. So, don't want to fall in that cave. What I'm thinking of doing is, um, well, it's a bit complicated, honestly. Is that a savanna? Guys, we are in the perfect area. I mean, this is just perfect. Alright, so... Oh, I was so close to getting hurt by that cactus. Actually, I'm not going to use this area. Alright, I found what we're doing. This is going to be a, the simplest starter base I have ever done in Minecraft. And we can make, you know, a few adjustments here and there. But this is all sandstone, okay? Doesn't look like it because of the texture pack, but that's what it is. So... There is a little sand here, which might be a little dangerous because of suffocating, but I think I have a cool idea of something we can do. Now, for this to work, we're going to have to block off this area, which means mining some of this sandstone in here, okay? Now, I was planning on building an actual house, and I see the sun's beginning to set, so I'm going to work on that real quick. Um, but... Uh, the original plan for this series was for there to, um, you know, I was going to build a starter house. Oh! That's what I was worried about, folks. That's what I was worried about. Well, this is all sandstone. We're safe here. So we'll have to 
add more to the roof. But anyway, I'm going to make this like a little cave and I've really got to sleep. Don't want to die, you know what I mean? Okay, so as I was saying, I'm going to put my bed down here and my crafting table. So, I forget what I was saying. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I feel a little dumb. Let's put half of that coal in there and get some of that smelting or cooking. So, what I'm thinking of doing is like expanding to this here and there, kind of like Grian did with his hobbit hole. But this is going to be completely different than a hobbit hole, alright? I'm not copying anybody here. Okay? I want you guys to know that. I'm not copying anybody. So, this, he, I don't think anyone has done anything quite like I'm thinking of doing. But before we can do anything, we're going to have to take out some of this sandstone here. We're going to try to do this carefully to make sure no sand falls. We're going to need space in here anyway for what I have in store. So, um, we gotta add a roof, because half of the roof caved in because it was sand. So, we're gonna try to make this look natural. But I'm not really good at doing stuff like that. Huh. This looks... Okay, I think. That doesn't look half bad. Alright, but to make sure no mobs spawn, we're gonna make a few torches, you know, just to be on the safe side because, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna need that. Alright, I think we're good to go here. So we're just going to need a little bit of sand, which we have, <laughs> and we're gonna need to put this in the furnace. I'm also gonna make a chest because I'm, you know, running low on materials. So this is the easiest starter house I've ever made because, um, you know, I don't have to actually build a house. Don't worry, we're going to be building up a village soon. Because you know me, I love to build in Minecraft. I'm smelting sandstone. Oh, for the love of Pete, why? <laughs> Wrong thing to smelt. But I'm going to put glass right here and it's going to look cool. I'm going to do a very brief time lapse of me. Sorry, I'm trying to zoom in. Of me clearing out this, uh, the inside of here and finishing out the outside. That made no sense. <laughs> so let's kick it away, future me, with the first ever time lapse of Hardcore of the Hardcore series.
thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Please share this video with all your family and friends. And pray that I don't die off camera working on things around here. <laughs> I probably won't do much, but <laughs> we never know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my thought. So I appreciate you watching. And see you guys on the next video.